Hello everyone, Praise Good here, and welcome back to more Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. So, uh, I got hella distracted last time by other things, didn't I? So, let's actually discuss how skins matches works, because it's not very complex, but it's I think it's enough different that if the game thinks it can be a different mode, I should probably talk about how it works differently. So how skins matches works, or, yeah, how skins matches works in this, or how skins matches works is, the person, good job, Waluigi is whoever it, it works like match play where whoever gets in the fewest amount of strokes just wins the hole and the other person doesn't finish out but it works more on a coin system so if you guys keep so if you people playing if you keep on tying on a hole like a hole after hole you keep tying a stroke after stroke after stroke eventually oh I should have backspun that that's my bad um, eventually what will happen is, well, what happens is those points just get put into a pool of carryover. And then whichever team hits that magical point of we we, have, we eked out that that lesser strokes bit, that, that team gets all the points that have been pooled from the last several holes. Miss and lose. We're, uh, this, and it's happening right now actually. As long as I don't uh, biff this horrendously. Huh. Weird, it just plays the normal music. That's weird. Here we go, nice and lovely. Go monkey. Go one hand swing monkey. I meant to say that a while ago, is that... Yeah, I meant to show, talk about that a while ago, because I pointed out in like, the first couple episodes. Yeah, DK is like... DK and Junior, oddly enough, are the characters... Are, ma are mainly the characters that use a one-handed swing. Well, Bowser. Wh oh wait, you. I didn't see the win at first. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord Koopa. I for forgive me for my insolence. You, Lord Koopa, for your insolence. <laughs> anyway. So. I guess that kind of I okay. What topic I had last time? Now that I'm done talking about rules of this, I guess that is an hour topic of conversation because I'm really interested in talking about this. So, as I said before, as I said before, you know, nobody is nobody is uh, pristine in the whole. If you do play free to play games, you're not you're not exactly going to be pristine in this whole scenario. Okay, yeah, we just gave them two points. Oops. Really? I have to put this in? Okay. You know what, Bowser? Let's just keep going. Go for all the beans. Why not? There we go. We're both terrible. Um. Yeah, the whole gotcha is free to, free to play, free to start, whatever you want to say system. Nobody is is pristine on this because I'm pretty sure everybody has found their one game where they have spent an unhealthy amount of money on it and then looking back they realize they don't they didn't need to spend all that money on it like me spending the money I did trying to pull summer Xander just to say lol I have all Xanders in Fire Emblem Heroes and as I mentioned, people are on record by spending, inc like, incredulous... Uh, is that the right word? I'll just say incredible, and not incredulous. Incredibly large amounts of money on a gacha game because they had that addiction. They were, they had an addiction to playing that game, and it was like borderline gambling in their, in their case. Uh, the most popular case, because, and he has made a video on this, so I think it's okay grounds to talk about it. If not, uh, Josh, uh, Joshua, if you see it, sorry. Uh, Jay Woods has gone on record by saying that he has spent. We can't win that hole. Wow. Yoshi is a legend. Uh, Jay Woods has gone on record saying that he is that he is in a year spent two thousand dollars, I believe, is what the figure was. If not, it was a thousand. But anyway, has spent that much money on Fire Emblem here. Really? We can uh, we can still tie? Well, we're not. But I appreciate I appreciate the uh, the vote of confidence game. 
Bowser, don't do that to that cup. Oh god. Oh god. Bowser, that the cup. Don't do it. Has he been doing that this whole time and I've just now noticed it? Because that's terribly wrong if that is. Uh, anyway. But yeah, like, like I said, he, uh, Jaywood spent, you know, many monies on Fire Emblem Heroes. Mo uh, monthly, he spent many monies on the game. Which is kind of how the whole game is designed in the first place. I want to aim here and see what happens with the ball. I finally lost a power swing. Um... But yeah, he has gone on record and saying they spent way too much money on it. And he's had to hark himself off because it's got like the underlying aspects of gambling in it. Which, oh boy, gambler, gambler's issues. Let me tell you, I'm familiar with them because my extended family has issues with it. But... Is Bowser a genius? He might be... Okay, he at least put us in the bunker. Wait, hold on, that's a chip. He's a legend. Um. But anyway. Yeah, it's kind of like borderline gambling. It's just like, well, if I spend only, if I spend only, you know, five dollars on this, on this free-to-play game, then I'll, then I'll, you know, I'll be rewarded for my efforts in trying to get the one character I want. Surely. He said, he said, pulling, pulling another... Wow, I chipped an eagle now. He tells himself, pulling, pulling the ever, ever so common uh, Hinata from Fire Emblem Heroes. It's just, it's more or less, you know, comes to a point where you have to, because and he did, and Jay was did for himself. You have to come to a point and tell yourself, okay, this is a problem. I'm going to stop the problem. And you have to tell yourself at some point that you cannot be doing this to, with all of your hard-earned money. Bowser, please. I'll fit. Okay, you put, at least it's in the fairway. I can fix this. Nice shot. So, within reason, you know, within reason, spend money on a, on a free-to-play game, but don't, you know... Don't explode your wallet over it. Yeah, do not explode your wallet over a free-to-play game. That, I didn't hold down at all. Well, that's just interesting for Bowser now, isn't it? We both gave each other terrible eyes. Oh, Waluigi was almost a god. All right, Bowser. Look, we screw each other over a lot in this hole. I think we have so we, have, we can both learn something here. That I hate you. Nice shot. I don't think Bowser, me and Bowser, ever get along. Whatever team, whatever's going on, we just do not get along. Um. Yeah. Always give yourself like a point, like you know. If, again, if you will play a game, if you if you play a game enough where you think it's worth the price of playing something towards the devs for making the game, you do it in what in some way or some fashion. Don't be stupid about it though, because there are plenty of people that are stupid with it. I'm loop I'm looping the conversation. I'm well aware. Oh, it's Waluigi's turn. Okay, no, I I know I want to play now. Uh, well, Luigi, that's going bunker. Look, I'm no better. Cause we're ready. Watch this play. Like I, I'm gonna think. I'm thinking that it's gonna land right there and be smooth sailing. So much to the point where I biffed up the auto. And what's gonna happen is that's gonna bounce way over the green. Or sit on the fringe for Bowser to try and make fun movements with. Okay. No, he's gonna putt it. Good job, Bowser. That's a good lad, isn't it? Um. 
Yeah, we got... <laughs> Multi-episode topic. I should find more of these, because these are, these are fun to talk about, and it kind of, like, lets me get air out some of my dirty laundry, in a sense. Of course, I have to be careful about what I talk about when I do something like this, like with free-to-play games. I have to be kind of careful what I say, because... The hills have the hills have ears and nostrils. Don't ask questions why the hills have ears and nostrils. It's the same reason why we don't ask why everything in Mario has eyes, and we're not questioning the sentience of these beings. There, a fifty yard a fifty yard chip. Go nuts, Bowser. When the other team eventually catches up. Cause. There are certain things I could talk about. I'm not going to talk about this. I'm just going to mention it. I could take a stance in the whole Epic Game Store thing. I could be part of that crowd that's just babbles on about it and how they don't like it and everything. And I could also talk about diversifying diversifying of the market to other storefronts. I could talk about all this stuff for hours upon end. I won't because I think you guys deserve a little more... I think you guys deserve, you guys see or hear enough of that when you're in your online movements or online day-to-day -day life as is. Just by curious from from other people, from other users that have bigger followings because they do cover this stuff constantly. If it's a conversation that's somewhat, t somewhat con uh, con controversial, somewhat contra, <laughs> that's an awkward close-up. Can we back up? That was a little close. There's a carryover point. Which means if we win this hole, it's me. Okay. Where is that gonna... Oh god, I have to get it perfect. Hold on, I gotta concentrate here for a minute. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, scary shots. Bad. Bringing up like con super controversial things right now, I think I'll pick and choose my battles on that because, yeah, I could talk about it very easily. I could throw my hat into the pot and become and become part of the hive mind that is stomped down on what everybody doesn't want to stomp down on, or or become the other half of it that's like defended forever and always. I could definitely become part of that that whole hive mind that's going on right now but again you guys definitely don't deserve to hear that from every single source of entertainment you're watching enough people do it I don't need to be part of that problem and before somebody asks no I will not comment on the epic game store debacle I have my own views on it I'm gonna hold it to myself Shut down. <laughs> God damn. I feel like people were waiting for I feel like people were like waiting for me to say something about that too, just to be like, oh boy, I got my I'm a god <laughs> Um I feel like people were just sitting there with we were sitting there with, you know, notepads open like, what's he gonna say? What's he gonna say in the matter? Oh boy, ah oh boy. Yeah, no, you can. No, I'm not give. I'm not gonna give you that. No satisfaction, not for me. Heck yeah, we just need to tie to hold the points. So we basically need to not let them win the last hole. I'm pretty sure in skins matches, if it's the same as doing a regular match play, where if there is a tie, it keep it keep will keep going past the point of the original tie. <sighs> just get to the other side of the tree. That's all I ask. You get to the other side of that tree. But yeah, like some... Uh, I guess because it's on the back of my mind. Because I want to see if I can get others to join me on these adventures in golf. I might grab several people and record these. And maybe release them over periods of time. Or release them over a couple periods of time here and there. Just to... Just when I have like spaces in video recordings. Oh god. Uh, oh, okay.
Don't worry, I will save us Bowser. There, I saved us Bowser. We're now at the same putting distance they are. Can Bowser do a smart? Can he sink it? Uh I think this is another sink to win, actually. I think I don't think they can win. I don't think they can literally win, because because the, if they sink it, it, that that point carries over and it just sits in the carryover spot, and we win with one po uh, one point up on them. We're about to find out now, because I don't know how this works. Uh, anyway. That's it, yep, okay, that does, is how it works. Excellent, so Team Beef beats out Team Mario Kart. Always picked. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Mario Kart Total Tour. We'll do more doubles next time in the regular match play option. And I don't know who I'm going to play as, but we'll be going back to, I think it's the desert. I think it's the desert level next. I'll see you folks next time. Take care.